is it ours? This journey is a blur in my mind. I have no idea if it is three days or five since we got on this train. I begin to wish I could change my mind and go into hiding. I've made a terrible mistake. I cannot think about that, though. There is no turning back now. They are not expert at shipping human cargo yet. The stops are so many I give up trying to count, reserving my energy for more important things. My mind is as heavy as wet sand sifted through a net of unconscious days. I think about nothing. Somewhere in the lapse of time, I hear somebody say, Is anyone here Polish? I do not answer at first. It takes time to register what my ears have heard. Looking across the dingy compartment of girls, I remember, I, I'm Polish. Can you read the signs we're passing? They lift me up so I can see the signs along the tracks through the barred window high above our heads. The wind whips across my eyes. I blink back the pain as I recognize my native tongue, my native land. We are in Poland, I say, from high above their heads. Where are they bringing us? What are they doing? Speculation and theories are discussed, but mostly we just have more questions. Our voices ice the air. Um, and it's sort of interesting because uh, I know it's sort of a sad time, like we're doing this whole commemoration for Rena, but I think Rena would be so happy that we were here. Rena loved Poland. She, she loved the Polish people. She loved her country. Um, she loved the Polish Pope. Um, you know, I mean, she loved everybody, but um, she, I think she just would be so excited. If she was with us, she'd be pointing out the window and and um, saying things. Although this, this part of the country is not hers, um, but she would be really excited. Jem, how do you feel about being in Poland? Come tell the camera. I feel really excited to be here. I really am. Yeah, I've come good, good vibes. You've been to Poland before, though. I've never been to Poland. Oh, you no, haven't. I wanted oh. to go to Poland. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really, it's been like the journey's had its ups and downs in yeah. some ways, of just emotionally and. I feel, feel really happy to be in Poland. Yeah, it's like we're sort of, you know, we're nearing our destination. And it, yes. Maybe, well, maybe we're channeling some happiness from Rena and her yeah, home, she'd home be country. Yeah, she would be so excited. She would be so happy that we were here. That we came. Yeah, yes. absolutely. She would be absolutely. People always think that's so weird that Rena was a happy, excited person. And just well, I of, think you can get that. Yeah, I do. they just, yeah. Uh, yeah, they think that's not right. But um, that's Rena, the point of it, isn't it? Yeah. That she, that she absolutely was. Rena was not a woe is me oh, sort of person. Really good. So I can get Polish coffee. <laughs> you want to watch me eat and drink that? That was coffee grounds put into hot water with some milk and no filter. Yum.
different than I imagined. It's just the air feels really soft. And um, I always thought of the colors of Poland. The flag is uh, white and red. And, um, and I was just looking at the forests and the color. It never occurred to me that the color for Poland uh, looks like green and white. The pine, this beautiful pine, and these white, um, you know, just like bones, the birch trees. And um, there's a lovely breeze today. It's early spring, and um, and there's, so there's just a sort of freshness in the air that's um, quite uh, delicate. Um, there's a lot of ruined buildings along the way. You just sort of wonder um, what did it look like before the war, before the Soviet bloc. And um, and I'm, I'm really moved. I'm really, you know, moved to be here. They just changed the track. That was loud. That would have been the only thing that Rena would have known in the cattle car, hearing that change of track. She wouldn't have been able to see the tracks changing like I can. They would have heard that the changing of the track and wondering where they were going next. It's um. Uh, We have another uh, hour and a half on our journey. We've been traveling all day, but we've had some breaks. And, um, and but uh, quite, a, quite a moving journey to be involved in. Somebody in the, um, the bar just asked me uh, if I'd ever been to Poland, and I said no, and, and I told him why we were here. He gave me a coffee. <laughs> gave me a free coffee. <laughs> So we're here in Ashvencham. Uh, we've been traveling for 11 hours. Uh, we've had breaks, we've had lunch. We're really tired. Um, and watching the sunset as we were coming through the birch trees coming in to the town, um, I was really struck by how barren it felt and how the landscape looks like every single World War II movie I've ever seen. And, um, and I'm shaking. So uh, we're going to head over to um, the original Auschwitz camp now, and, uh, and, uh, which is closed, but um, I, we wanted to go straight from the train station to the camp in honor of Rena, and, um, and that's what we're going to do now. So it's March 25th, it's 7 o'clock in the evening in Poland, the sun is setting um, and we have arrived.